Stay healthy, stay strong, go Charleston. So you talked about, you know, the importance of the op of um, of nutrition, education, and skill development, which is the oatmeal recipe ingredients. In our conversation, you mentioned those three things. So, you know, in, in our last topic, talk about, you know, the, the charity that you started and, and what's that all about and, and why you think it's, um, it's an important thing to do. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, the reason for... Uh, your foundation of the call and everything is, is definitely important. Um, obviously, skill development is, is important because you know if you don't hone in, hone in on your skills, like any 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 job, any career, um, you won't be at your best. Um, obviously, like I said, nutrition and, and health is definitely uh, the key because you want to be working at optimum performance when you. When your opportunity is called or your name is called, you don't want to, you know, like a lot of, a lot of kids nowadays, you know, you come up with excuses, oh, the coach don't like me, or, you know, he didn't tell me I wasn't ready, but, you know, if you stay ready, then you don't have to get ready, so that's, that's definitely tough in these days and times as well, because we got so much going on, but, you know, in converse, you can, you can learn how to run fast or jump higher, or, you know, by YouTube, so it should be, it's right. an excuse limited so uh, that's important I do have a charity called Outreach Global um, we, uh, we 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 help uh, not underprivileged kids but kids in need to peer counseling I'm a teacher at a school I coach high school football and little league football here in, in South Florida and I, I found over the years even growing up uh, with my, my mom teaching first grade for 35 years, and my dad be the preacher, um, and an only child, the, the most of the lessons and the most of the things we listen to probably is each other. You know, my mom can tell me, but, you know, who's my mom? She, she didn't have the same things, but if, I, if somebody else, like me or you, or even, you know, hey, I'm in third grade, but an eighth grader tell me, don't do that, you know, that's not nice. Right. I'm probably gonna listen to my peers Right. You know, as well as my parents, but my parents will have more of an influence on me. And, and so we, we, we have peer counseling groups where we get, we pair eighth graders up with fifth graders to help them with their homework, to help them, um, you know, outside of school or in school, a mentor, so to say. Um, and they come and talk to them because they've been through it and they'll listen to them. So when I say, hey, that's not the right way, and I reinforce it by an eighth grade telling you, hey, that's not the right way. Right. Y'all in the same school, and you see him at the big lunch table, and it's the same thing, a senior, a 12th grader, a couple of freshmen, you know, hey, look, I've, I've been in this school, I, I've done it. it, it doesn't work that way. Thank you.